Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Just when things were starting to look bleak with Footy's FIFA 23 content, we have hope once again as EA added a card design to the code and there is a lot of discussion and speculation about what this card design means for upcoming content on this game. We're going to talk about it all today and of course discuss the content going on right now today on a Tuesday in FIFA 23. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you're new. Let's start with yesterday's content because there was a little bit and honestly, we were more so this disappointed than anything else with the quality of the upgrade packs that we got right upgrade pack mondays you know the drill we got the 80 plus player pick this time it's a one of four it is 80 plus so a lower rated and it requires 10 golds that's one thing that i think a lot of people are disappointed in we had player picks last week and two weeks ago that required five six or only seven players this one's back to 10 just for that extra slot right instead of one of three it's one of four which i understand why ea made it a little bit more expensive these are still decent to do i think golds on the market are still like 500 coins so they're not that expensive to do it's about six thousand coins five thousand coins per player pick but man nothing beats that crafting upgrade we had during level up that gave you three cards back for turning in six that was such great value but player picks at this stage of the game there's of course the best of batch that is in packs right now you could get an insane pack pull of Ronaldinho or another team of the year icon or you could get a lot of fodder like centurions and winter wild cards like most people are getting now also yesterday we had an 84 times 10 pack, right? We were hoping for maybe that first 85 times 10, but EA said, hold on, not just yet. And we got an 84 times 10 instead. Now, a lot of people are looking at this and saying, why is this SBC so expensive? It just, I think, looks expensive from the requirements, guys. Three 87 rated cards required to get this done, and then an 86 rated squad underneath that. After you turn in three 87s, all you need is maybe one or two 86s, a couple 85s, and an 84, and you're kind of good to go, which definitely isn't cheap. But when you look at it this way, 65,000 coins with all the cards that are in packs, you're turning in 11 players to get 10 back. Yes, you're going to get some 84s back. It's inevitable. I honestly don't think it's that horrendous. It's the 387 rated requirement that just makes it seem so crazy right off of the bat. But if you can get those 387s, if you're doing some player picks, it's actually really easy to get 87s right now because of all of them that are in packs, right? You got Weghorz, Quagdarella, Vasquez, Boateng, Aspas, Zambo, and Guisa, Keeling. These are all types of guys that we're used to packing with the best of being out. I'm not trying to make a big case for this SBC being a must-do. If you don't have a lot of coins, this is probably not the SBC to waste your fodder on, but it's at least craftable every single day. And some people are even looking ahead and saying, hey, I want to save this pack for a better batch of footies, which to me right now, saving packs is not on my agenda. But if you're not really playing the game and you're waiting for more footies content that you like, then maybe that is something that you could do. So that's kind of the 84 times 10 in the upgrade pack content that we had yesterday. Now, we also had a icon player SBC. We talked about the leaks. Uh, Maldini, he was leaked. We got him. This one, to me, it's okay. It is probably one of the best center backs in the game just released as a SBC. Not bad in that sense. The price here also... It looks a bit daunting, 11 squads, but it's not that bad. It's 1.3 million coins on the market before today, even after the leaks and people knew that he was coming, he was still 1.5 mil and now he's down to 1.3. So the SBC and the card of the market are about the same price. Not horrendous, of course, craftable, but for a center back at this stage of the game, how many people actually want to spend 1.3 mil crafting a center back SBC? Now, again, I get it. It's Maldini. Icons just kind of play different in game. They have that special sauce, if you will, or those special animations and special feeling, but I think that this one could have been a little bit cheaper if it was like a 1 million coin flat SBC, then maybe it would be more interesting for a lot of people to go ahead and craft. But at least it's there if you want to get it done. That is not a terrible price, just maybe not something that we're all super duper excited to go out and do right now. Now, speaking of icons, we're going to get right into it today, guys. You may have seen this car design tweeted out yesterday this was the big news and this has got everything turning all of our minds going about what in the world this car design is going to bring to this game end of an era icon card 
is coming. Once again, this is Foot Scoreboard adding this tweet, right? Putting this tweet out saying that this card design has been added to the code. This is better than a leak. This is literally EA have added this card design to the back end of the game and it should be coming out soon. Also with this, he asks the question that we ask when we see this what kind of players are going to be involved with this? Are these icons that won't be icons next year? We know about one of those, right? Litmanen, right? Litmanen in EAFC 24 is going to be in hero card instead of an icon card. That was something that um, Foot Sheriff tweeted out a long time ago, actually a couple weeks ago. But that is confirmed news. So is it an end of an icon era for like Litmanen? And maybe there's a couple other cards that are going to be heroes in FC24 and not icons. That's potential option number one. Or maybe a player that has retired this current year that is going to be an icon card in an upcoming EAFC24. And of course, that gets all of us thinking about this mad lad right here. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Could it be that somehow EA have acquired the rights to Zlatan to be an icon um, right away. Like, that would be crazy. Um, you know, we know that we're getting Ribéry as an icon in FC24, but we've already had an end of an era Ribéry, so it would be kind of weird if we had an end of an era Ribéry from earlier on in the year, and then they dropped, like, an end of an era icon Ribéry as well. Like, it's possible, but that also seems a bit interesting, right? But this really seems like it could be a crossover between FIFA and EAFC 24 somehow. And I don't know when this is going to be releasing. I would love to hear some of your guys' comments down below. I mean, can you just imagine? Can you imagine Zlatan as an icon on this card? It seems a bit far-fetched, but that's where my mind goes because I still want that Zlatan card so bad uh, in this game. I think it's deserved. I think a lot of people want it. And guys, there's just so much potential with this. I hope they do something massive with this car design. I keep checking on the market. It's not there. Or I keep checking in like my club as well where you can search the car designs. I don't see this car design in the game yet. But this has to be. I mean, the combination of the icon card and the end of an era car design. Like this has to be one of the better car designs that I've seen uh, on FIFA in a while. I mean, it doesn't have anything super crazy on the outside, but the combination of those two is really, really sick. So I have my my hopes high for a Zlatan, but I really feel like the best potential is probably this sort of situation. Maybe an, a Litmanen, right? We haven't had a special Litmanen card all year. Would it be kind of a meme and kind of at least fun and interesting too to have like, let's say a 95 rated Litmanen with five star, five star. Maybe they boost his work rates to high medium as a center attacking mid or center forward. And they give him the first usable meta Litmanen card, especially towards the end of the game. Because how many people, unless you're um, Finnish or you're a fan of Litmanen and in the clubs that he played for, uh, which Ajax, Barcelona, Liverpool, some big clubs per se, but, um, you know, is that going to be a card that they would release and is that going to be the route that they take with this end of an era icon? So, a lot of speculation, not a lot is known. Watch out for leaks and watch out for this card design in game because this could be phenomenal and I'm very excited about this because, wow, the opportunities here are immense so we'll keep watch with that in game and hoping that something big comes because of it would i really invest for something like that right now no i really wouldn't we'll talk about the market and speaking of news with like fodder and stuff like that uh fodder guys yesterday if we're going to go this route right now i mean some prices jumped up um 85s jumped up yesterday a little bit as we had the uh sbc released uh, for the 84 times 10, Depay hit about 6.3k. A lot of your 85s were like high 5k range, like 5.7, 5.8. Some of them selling at 6,000 coins. Now, a lot of them are still right around 5,000 coins. Haven't moved that much. Your 83s are about 1.4 to 1.5 every day the content drop. But of course, with that 87 rated requirement inside of the 84 times 10, your 87 rateds went up the most some of these guys 15k for thomas muller the golds guys right we didn't talk about investing in the special cards that are 87 rated we talk about the golds because that's the cards that go up the most Nine thousand coins basically for all these cards yesterday going to about fifteen thousand coins some of them even higher than that like where's um actually trent's got a special card in packs right now what's his gold card his gold card is max price so some of these golds are max price because they're out of packs did he was he high Oh, yeah, he was still 13, 14K before uh, the content dropped yesterday anyway. So those 87 golds are an absolute W if you invested in those <clears throat> 88s as well. 
are about 14, 15,000 coins. And I believe they were 15K yesterday. Some of them a little higher than that. You can see they went up as well. So if you got 80, 88s at 11, 12K, you're looking at probably a good price to sell at like 16 to 17K today, tomorrow. Keep listing those throughout the week. If you've got 85s, I would probably list those at like 7,000 coins or 6,700 maybe for lazies. I can see them going up a little bit more as the week goes on. Still a really good week for fodder, guys. And again, there's that Icon SBC, the player pick 90 plus that still could get re-released. We'll just have to see if they go ahead and do that or not. But fodder was definitely the best place of where the market moved yesterday. A lot of your level up cards, actually, if we're going on the market trend right now, uh, they went up. Uh, Goretzka, 1.3 mil. I think people woke up on Monday yesterday and said, hey, yo. I don't have a ton of ground in this game right now. Footy's content is decent, but not that spectacular. I'm going to go out, finish a grind from one of these level up cards. Chameni, Goretzka, Martinelli, Varane, all at still very high prices. Again, I'll put that warning out there. By the end of this week, even maybe tomorrow, these guys are probably going to start dropping off in value considerable amounts like we saw with Team 1 of level up as well. So just be careful as the selling kind of comes in as people are completing those objectives before those objectives go away. If people sell the old or lower rated version, these card prices will 100% drop. Now, for some of the other footies cards, we saw some fluctuations too. Ronaldo still extinct. We're going on day four of him being extinct. Alvarez, 1.7. He was actually around 1.5. There was some panic on Monday morning on at least the PlayStation market. He went from 1.7 down to 1.5 lows and then went right back up in price skyrocketing back up in price uh same thing with Di maria he was like 1.9 i don't know where Di maria's card is but he went from like 1.9 mil all the way back to 2.2 which is where i think he is right around now so again not a lot of movement on the market if you're going to trade with anything right now in this game i would trade mostly on the out of pack specials and also watch a lot of your bronzes your silvers that are needed for the mixed league and the premium league or whatever it is the upgrade packs that we all have to do for the XP, a lot of people are doing these right now. They're buying cards. I've seen screenshots of people buying silvers and bronzes for like five, six, seven thousand coins because it fits the solution or it fits uh, what, whatever they're trying to look at to finish this SBC off. So use Footbin. Footbin Solutions is something we talk about for low budget trading that is phenomenal. If you've got less than like 30, 40,000 coins, this would be a phenomenal place to look right now is the SBC solutions on Footbin. Literally just go to Footbin, SBCs, active SBCs, and then click on these and figure out which ones are showing at the top. Look at those cards on the market. They fluctuate, right? And you can probably make some coins doing that. Now, speaking of today on Tuesday, right? What are we going to have today for content? Well, we didn't have a footies player SBC yesterday because Maldini is obviously not a footies card. Hopefully, the footies SBC returns today. It's then now or it's now guaranteed, I guess, or uh, confirmed that it's not a daily SBC promo, even though we did have a player SBC. It wasn't an actual footies card. Hopefully today we get another footies. Again, if they're dropping an SBC, it better be a premium footies card. St. Juice Day, Cahill, they've started off well with either the hero or their premium cards here in SBC. Same thing with Sun as well. So hopefully today we get another player SBC. But also, if we're going towards the content front, We've got some news coming today, guys. We've got news about FC24 Heroes. This is a tweet that EA put out yesterday, kind of showing some glimpses at what Heroes may be being talked about today. It said starts tomorrow, right? And that was a tweet um, two hours before content is what I would expect to see out of this uh, right there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that is that to me looks like uh, the Finland flag. That to me looks like Litmanen right there. I think you've got a... Uh, yeah, you've got an England flag there. Well, is that the USA flag? I don't even know. Some of these are kind of tough to see. Juve, right? Right there. Maybe Marquisio. Uh, Olympic Lyon. That could be a couple different players. Uh, the Dutch flag right here. Could be Dirk Kite. Could be Wesley Schneider. Who knows? A uh, lot of, you know, questions off that little teaser. But again, starts tomorrow. So that is today, obviously. We're going to be getting some news about heroes. I don't know if we're going to learn about every single new hero that's going to be coming to FC24, but just something to kind of think about there and watch out for. I would imagine that is two hours before content that we get that news, and maybe that'll somehow coincide with the um, the end of the era icon car design. Maybe it will, like with the limited. We will have to see. One other thing I'll watch out for today is, of course, the SBC refreshes 84 times 10. The regular TOTS pack, Team of the Week upgrade you can do every single day, stuff like that. Refreshing. Also watch out for some new objectives related to Weekend League. Remember last Tuesday, we had the new Weekend League objectives. 
and it required Air Divisi cards, right? Four games or four win four games with a certain number of Air Divisi cards, and guys like Javi Simons went up like crazy right in that first hour. Watch MLS cards today. Um, I don't know if it's going to be MLS or watch maybe the Saudi League as well, but if you have a requirement, you're going to have cards that are going to spike up in price like crazy right away, and then they're going to drop down after that. So keep an eye on some of your MLS cards or maybe just wait for the requirements to drop today. Look and see what's required if we get a weekend league plus objective, and then you can maybe go and make some quick flips on the market accordingly. So guys, that's really all that's going on right now in this game. I'm gonna buy some golds, do some more upgrade packs because it's at least kind of fun to try to pack special cards right now, have a chance at something insane with the footies cards, um, but then at the same time, be able to craft you know, some of the best of batch player picks, craft the player SBCs like St. Juice Day, Cahill, Icon packs, whatever it may be, or Icon SBCs, Icon packs we still need, man. Bring us back that 90 plus EA Sports, please. I would love to do that one, especially because there's no more primes in it, and I want that SBC back. But based on EA's previous experience with those, I don't have high hopes. But that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account. I'll see you guys in a stream today. Link down in the description if you don't know where to go for that. Peace out.